the NASA Israel joint project called the Nisar mission is all set for the next big launch by ISRO from India's spaceport of Shar at Srihari Kota in January 2024. The critical uh, crucial testing for the launch is underway at Bengaluru, ISRO's UR Rao Satellite Center. Now, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory Director, Dr. Laurie Leshin, is in India to take stock of the project. And DD India's Aisha Khanam caught up with Dr. Laurie in Bengaluru. Take a listen. One of the most ambitious collaborative missions between world's two top spacefaring nations, US and India, is uh, set to excite the world once again. To talk more about this mission, I have with me none other than Dr. Laurie Leshin, who is the director of NASA uh, JPL uh, from US. Uh, tell us, uh, you know, the update and uh, what is uh, uh, the progress on this. NASA is doing great. I'm so happy to be here visiting our team from JPL. For the last nine months, we have had um, between 30 and 40 of our engineers and technicians here in Bangalore, working shoulder to shoulder with our colleagues at ISRO on getting NISAR ready to launch early in 2024. Now, what exactly is the joint interest that US and India have in this mission? It's almost a perfect 50-50 collaboration in that we have each provided major sensors, major types of radar instrument to go on board. And ISRO is providing the launch vehicle and the spacecraft, and we are providing a boom and a big reflector and some of the electronics. So it's a wonderful collaboration. How does you know, a common man relate to this? We should all care about how our planet is changing because that change, while it might seem like we're doing something global because we're up in space, in fact, all the measurements we're making are local. We should all care about understanding and potentially predicting volcanoes and earthquakes in the future so that we can keep people safe. How do uh, the tracking system works and from yeah. where, uh, what happens, how is the data gathered? ISRO will operate the spacecraft from India and uh, we will do it in a collaborative way where we will send commands from NASA to here to be sent to the spacecraft. After we launch early next year, we will take the first few months to check out and calibrate the instruments. Over time, you can start to see the changes and we'll be doing that um, in collaboration, just like we have, have gotten to this point. How do you see you know, cost effectiveness and the, the use of technology, the propulsion uh, systems? So how do you look at uh, the advantage of launching from India? Well, it's wonderful. I mean, again, we both had um, co major contributions to the mission and, and India providing a launch on their fabulous vehicle is was a, a wonderful contribution to this. What are the other projects that uh, uh, NASA would, be li uh, would like to work with India? Some of our engineers at JPL were helping to advise and, and do some review, independent review, to make sure that we could support India in this great achievement. And, you know, I think that the, the sky is not the limit for the future, so we will see where we go. But first, we are focused on getting NISAR successfully to space and getting that science going. Very exciting to see women heading so many missions. You know, in Israel also there are so many women uh, team leaders what gives an advantage for the women at this uh, uh, you know top gear i think it's uh, it's about time it's time for uh, women to lead more things so i'm very happy to see it as well uh, yes i um and at jpl we have over 2000 women working on our missions and i'm the first woman director of jpl uh, that was uh, dr lori uh, talking to us about uh, the NICER project and also looking forward to working in collaboration with India in future with other projects uh, soon. With cameraman Uttam Aisha Khanam, DD India, Bangalore.